What's going on guys? Some absolutely insane updates to the drop rates for the new bosses just got released this morning and we're going to discuss those in this video today as well as some other tweaks and changes they've made to the game. Uh, so first of all, prior to the update in order to hit the unique table which consisted of the Virtus pieces, the Axe pieces, the Chromium ingots, and the Vestige pieces was 1 in 180 for Vardorvis, 1 in 108 for Duke, 1 in 120 for Leviathan, and then 1 in 77 for Whisperer. All of these got buffed by 20 to 30 percent. So now the new drop rates are going to be one in 36 for Vardorbis, one in 90 for Duke, one in 96 for Leviathan, and one in 64 for Whisperer. And essentially, what this means is is that it once you hit that unique drop table, you have a one in eight chance to receive one out of the three Virtus pieces, one in eight chance to receive an Axe piece, three in eight chance to hit a Chromium Ignit, and then a three in eight chance to hit a Vestige roll. And then how Vestige rolls work is that you have to hit three of them before you hit the 100% drop rate for the Vestige piece. So the first Vestige rolls are going to be invisible. And then once you hit that third Vestige roll, you're going to hit the Vestige um, piece and you're going to hit 100% of the time on that third roll. So basically what this means is that in order to receive that vestige piece, you have to rack up your kill count and you're going to be receiving those later on uh, within uh, your kill count. And then once you hit the piece, then it's going to reset that table and then you have to hit those three uh, uh, rolls in order to get your next piece. Um, and then for the other drop rates, they did get released. The teleport tablets are one in 25, but these um, increase as the more KC you get. The Ancient Elemental Quartz are 1 in 200, and these also increase uh, the more kill count you get. The Wakener Orb rates are 1 in 80 for Vardorvis, 1 in 48 for Duke, 1 in 53 for Leviathan, and 1 in 34 for Whisperer. Clue rates are 1 in 40 for any specific clue. That's from easy to elite. Pet rates are 1 in 300 for Vardorvis, 1 in 2,500 for Duke, 1 in 2,500 for Leviathan, and then 1 in 2,000 for Whisperer, uh, which is honestly some pretty amazing drop rates. Super excited to go for those pet hunts. And uh, yeah, what this means is that we're going to head back to Duke and keep grinding him out until we get that Vestige piece so we can cash out as early as possible. Head back to Vardorvis, uh, grind out that Vestige piece, cash that out as fast as possible. Uh, but that does not mean that we're going to be um, lacking on the Whisperer and Leviathan guides. We are going to be getting those out for you hopefully later this week or earlier next week. So get prepared for those. And then some other tweaks that got uh, uh, released with this update is that you can now receive multiple uh, Ring of Shadows. You can purchase them at the vault, which is very, very handy. So that's if you do die at the bosses, you have that extra Ring of Shadows within your bank to go teleport back to those bosses. And then another update at the Duke boss, uh, if you were on those upper ledges and you clicked on the salt deposit, it actually routed you back up onto the ledge. So that got updated so that it will now take you properly down to the salt deposit, which is honestly a very, very nice update. And then Vardorvis did get his hitbox updated, so it's going to be a lot easier to click on the boss. You're not going to be clicking through him while he's doing his special attacks, which is a very, very nice quality of life update to the Vardorvis boss. Um, and then other than that, there wasn't too many crazy updates. If I did miss anything, make sure to leave a comment below that you guys noticed that has been um, pretty beneficial. But I think I covered everything in the update. Honestly, some massive changes. And yeah, I just wanted to get this video out for you guys as early as possible. Uh, we had a stunt gig actually last night. We did a night shoot uh, and we didn't really get much sleep. I was feeling pretty sore waking up this morning and it was kind of tossing and turning. Uh, so I just kind of woke up early, got this video out for you guys. And yeah, that was my first stunt of the year super excited to get back into the industry and uh yeah that's it for me that's my update uh for today i love you guys peace out